I scored perfectly on the SAT math section, and here's how you should be approaching geometry questions on the test. If you take a look at this one, we're asked for the value of x. So the first thing I'm going to do is identify the angle I need in order to solve for x. And that's going to be that angle that I just wrote in blue. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to identify how I can get to that angle. I'll put those in orange. I see i got to solve for z in order to get angle that's in blue because I see I have an isosceles triangle that contains my angle in blue. So to solve for z, i got to plug in this 75y. So I'll go ahead and do that. So I plug in 75, multiply it by 2. That's going to give me 150 is equal to 180 minus z. That means that z is going to have to be equal to 30. So now I know that z is 30. Next thing I'm going to do is 180 minus that 30, which will give me 150. And I have to divide that 150 by 2 since it's an isosceles triangle. 150 divided by 2 I know will be 75. Next I have to do 180 minus 75 to solve for angle x since that's along a line. And that's going to leave me with 105 is equal to x. So the answer is 105.